So there's a big new update on the meta side of things that's really going to improve the performance for pretty much everyone's campaigns. And this is particularly true for people who are in lower budgets, smaller businesses, mom and pop shops, stuff like that. So let's get right into it. All right, so if you've been doing meta advertising for any number of years, every single time you launch a brand new campaign, it goes into what Facebook slash meta call the learning phase. So if we take a look at this campaign right here, it was recently launched and you can see it right here, learning phase progress 14 out of 50, your ads are being delivered by our system is learning how to best deliver them. You may see changes in performance and higher costs during this time since performance is still stabilizing and this process could take up to seven days. It has to learn your targeting options, what it actually is that you're promoting. So that amongst your targeting options, it then has to do a little bit of testing in terms of how to get you the best results, right? So it's going to show some ads to this subgroup of people over here, this subgroup of people over here, this subgroup of people over here. And then once it finds the subgroup of people that will get you the best results, it's going to start then delivering to that subgroup the most amount of impressions. So that all makes sense. But if you didn't notice, in that whole learning phase explanation, there is that 14 out of 50 mark that we saw right there. So what does that actually mean? So it actually means that they need 50 conversions in a seven day window in order to exit the learning phase. Now, depending on how big your budget is or how small your budget is, what type of cost per lead or cost per conversion, cost per sale you can expect in your industry, that can be very difficult, if not impossible to achieve for so many people. But what's the consequence? Okay, so let's say you get to 25 conversions over a seven day period. What happens then? Well, you go into what's known as learning limited. I can tell you from lots of experience, it's essentially a death sentence to your campaigns. So we can see over here in this campaign that the cost per lead for these campaigns is very high, but that's because this is simply a very competitive niche. And we get the learning limited sign right here which says that this ad set isn't generating enough conversions to exit the learning phase because its budget may be too low. Consider raising your budget or combine similar ad sets and consolidate their budgets. That's Meta's way of saying, hey, just please give us more money and enrich our bank accounts. So obviously that is very inconvenient and unfair to a lot of businesses because sometimes your budget is your budget. You simply cannot spend beyond your means but Facebook doesn't care and you go into the learning limited phase. Now, is the learning limited phase bad? Unfortunately, yes. I just always see it that once a campaign goes into learning limited, you see the results really drop off and you see a decrease in performance. And so then you kind of have to figure out, okay, well, what can I do in order to stay out of the active phase, all that kind of stuff. But like I said before, a lot of times that just simply isn't possible for whatever type of scenario that you are in. So many campaigns would be stuck in this learning limited phase and getting less than stellar results. But with Meta's new update, they are improving and changing the requirements to exit the learning phase and then go into the active phase. And as much as possible, you want your campaigns to be, say, active because that's when they're going to be generating the absolute best results for you. So in their updated system for these requirements of exiting the learning phase, now you need 10 conversions over a three day period much, much more achievable for the vast majority of businesses. So this is really fantastic news because again, learning limited is often a death sentence for your campaign, but with the previous requirements of 50 conversions, a lot of people just couldn't meet that. So they would be stuck in that jail cell, so to speak, kind of like Monopoly. But in this case, now you have a get out of jail free card because they've decreased it down to 10 conversions over a three day period, which I would say most people can still achieve. It's still going to be a little bit challenging for maybe some unique scenarios, but nevertheless, it gives you a lot more hope to exit the learning phase, go into the active phase and just get better results overall. Now, why is this happening? It simply means that their algorithm is improving. Obviously, they're constantly making changes in the background that we are unaware of. Now with the improvements in AI over the last number of years, they can get you just as good results using less data. Now, in this case, 10 conversions. So this is something that I'm not seeing in every single account. So if you are still seeing the old rules of 50 conversions over seven days, don't worry. As with many of these rollouts, it typically is a slow rollout that even takes a couple of months, but in due time, this will be the new norm 
for all accounts moving forward. The benefit of all this is that once you are in the active phase, that's the algorithm telling you I am dialed in and I can really get you some really good results right now. And so obviously there's a lot of things that come downstream of that will, that will just help you overall with your advertising budget. So I'm really glad this is a change that they are coming out with. So again, if you don't see it, don't worry, just be on the lookout. And I hope you found this to be exciting and something to look forward to inside of your ad account. But if you have any questions, as always, about this topic or any other topic for that matter, just let me know in the comments below and I'll be happy to get back to you. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you next time.